Hey, hi, hi everybody. It's been a long, long time since I posted a new video. Um, it's because I've changed jobs and my new job is... is uh, I've got a lot of stuff to do. Lah. So, I um, was quite busy with my new role. So that's why I couldn't able to upload a lot of uh, new videos. But thanks to everyone. You know, in the past six months, I didn't even log in into my YouTube account. But I've seen a lot of comments and uh, quite a number of subscribers has been uh, subscribed to my channel. Thank you so much for that. Really appreciate it. So since I have a uh, free time during this weekend, I wanted to do another video. So Mr. Kunyong here and I, uh, we wanted to go to JB to Makana. So I thought, you know, just doing of a short vlog. Other than that, things are the same uh, for me. Hope everything is good in your side. Uh, actually, I wanted to start riding again to Malaysia soon. Uh, hopefully, the next coming weeks, uh, we could do that. As for today's plan, uh, we are planning to go by Tuas checkpoint. Uh, which is uh, currently, yeah, I mean, you can see, right, we are at Cho Kang. So, to us, it's about, I would say, around like 20 kilometers, so, I guess so. From here, usually, based on my experience, to us, checkpoint will be lesser crowded la, compared to woodlands. And when you go at this timing, And every single traffic light is against us. Okay, let's go now. Yeah. So as I was saying, yeah. Um, so it's better if you go by to us. Will be much faster also. And I can't wait to enter the highway. Like in Singapore, I think it's better to walk than riding motorcycle or driving car. Every 100 meter got one traffic light. Uh, yeah, routes are. <laughs> and especially in this hot weather with a bigger bike, it's like damn hot. Uh. I've seen few comments la, in my um, channel. People were asking whether if VEP is needed for motorcycle. Actually, for motorcycle, they say last time it's required, but then they really didn't enforce it. La. So, for my new bike, I also don't have VEP, but I've been going in and out of Malaysia a lot of time already. Nobody cares. La. area right you see there's a lot of heavy vehicles so 
ever since I kind of twice puncture now I'm very scared because uh, it's got a lot of uh, bolt nuts screws on the road I don't know my my tire is like a magnet uh, every time you know I track all this screw and stuff then the annoying part is it starts leaking even though after you patch it so I think there's a different methods to patch the tire but the best one is to patch it from inside so that it doesn't leak but the cheaper of course is to patch it from the outside the, the, the typical tire kit where you can use it to patch it up so we have taken exit 41 uh, okay, so this road will lead us to Tuas checkpoint as you can see here AYE bus continue the record sorry for that because like this is a protected zone so they would advise you to refrain from recording uh, let me stop recording once I reach the inner part of the immigration okay damn son <laughs> today is damn empty oh Rops, rops, rops. I think I'll just go to this one here. Yeah. So, haven't come to Tuas. Uh, you know, this uh, what they call a uh, checkpoint before. You can enjoy the view. Lah. So, I'm really going to take my time. I'm not going to chong very fast here. Ah oh, man, ah oh, okay. Okay, so those uh, who like the Chong one, uh, you can go damn fast here. Yeah? Uh, I mean, uh, damn fast is up to your imagination how fast you want to go. <laughs> okay, so don't quote me, ah. Uh. But anyways, if you look at the view here, it's damn amazing. Uh, in the left hand side, so we are in the middle of the bridge now. So in the left hand side, uh, you can see the uh, a lot of. Uh, like a condo style structures right so this is called this uh, garden forest city but it, it's abandoned already like it's no longer they are not constructing it so they stop it halfway but the view is nice like from here so the right hand side is also sea this place is really very nice and you can see people like to fly here literally fly <laughs> i think we are the only one who's going quite slowly la. oh shit so i rode wrongly there as you can see i entered the car instead of motorcycle and should have been careful a bit There's no traffic at all. Okay, good, good, good. We are entering Malaysia, truly Asia. Okay, I have to stop recording again. Okay, so just now in the customs, the uh, officer was interested about the Insta360, la, so he was asking me a lot of questions on uh, the camera features and stuff. It's because like, quite obvious that the way I mount it right uh, it's very obvious some people like to mount it in the helmet and stuff but people here are usually very friendly ones even though there are times where you can encounter 
different sort of people but usually people here are very friendly I can so you can start flying here so another thing which I wanted to get is my uh, dampener steering dampener because when you go at a very high speed sometimes uh, they call it uh, tank slapping the handlebar will be very wobbly and will like you know start sh shaking very violently la. it's not very good the combo and it will end up in accident so if you are planning to go on a very high speed it's, you know it's a good investment to get I think Ducati um, what do you call that the street fighter yep it, it comes with a standard steering dampener if I remember correctly For the remaining video right i'm not going to talk i'm going to make it like a silent vlog because i want to enjoy the ride too <laughs> it's been a while since i came here right i told you guys in my motorcycle so you know i just want to do this short clip you know just to say keep in touch with everybody and uh, thanks a lot for all your support and do look out for more new videos soon um, 